to you Kate hello zero one good morning one five one Moa junkie calling you Copy that. I was just flipping through the channels and I stopped on 38 and there you were calling for me. You know, I can't ignore that. I had to jump up here and uh, return the call. Hey, that is so cool. You know, we've been painting, um, well, most of the day out in, out in the garden and uh, I've been sort of in and out and I can hear it all going on, but you know when you start something, you've got to finish it, John. Now, back to you. Copy that, yeah, I hear that, yeah, sometimes, yeah, other things become more important than the radio. Not everything, but now and then, especially when we got good weather and we can be outside. Yeah, I tend to do that too. Hey, absolutely. Well, I've been watching your videos. Uh, so are you on the new, um, it's not the present, is it? It's the new, uh, pro, is it the, um... I'm not too sure what it is. We've got the SS9900, and it's the same one as that, I think. Copy that. Yeah, I'm on the uh, the new, it's a Radiotity, a QT80. It's the uh, the same as the uh, the Anytone Quad 6 Pro. Uh, I'm loving this radio. This uh, It's easy to use. It's got a lot of power, and everybody tells me it sounds good on the air, so I'm sticking with it for a while. Copy that. Is that a base station radio? Is that one of the old Colt Black Shadow base stations? No, it's the, it's the mobile version. So I don't know if you've seen it. I'll, um, I'll send you a picture over. Um, we've, yeah, we've been running some video gates um, on this one. Uh, so we got you in there, John, on the video gate. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see that radio. I'm familiar with the base station version, but not the mobile. That's a new one to me. Copy that. Now that radio you're on, it sounds good. It doesn't sound as good as that Washington that you're usually on, but it does sound good. You got a good sounding station there. Yeah, brilliant. Well, we're running about, um, it is about 100 on the peak, so I hope it's not overdoing it. Um, but yeah, we're just, um, we're just real standard, to be honest. Um, not a lot of power, John. Copy that. Well, it's working well for you. I got a nice strong signal on you, and uh, it's staying right in there. I'm getting every word today. Hey, that is really cool. I was going to ask you if you wanted to try um, the FM, but last time, I think I, um, I blew your amp up for you, so we're not going to do that one again. <laughs> Well, it wasn't you that blew it up. Uh, after I talked to you, I was talking to a bunch of other people, and I was trying to reach one person, and I ended up turning up the drive just a little too much, trying to make that last contact. I didn't make the contact, and I smoked the amplifier. But hey, that's just the way things go. Uh, I took FM out of this radio. I just don't like FM. It makes everything way too hot. So uh, I stick to AM and sideband. Yeah, I love, um, I love the FM when you can do it um, just on the power out the radio, uh, just on QR, uh, QRP, 
so um, yeah, that's good fun, I like that. But yeah, when you start running a lot of power, it, especially the old Q, uh, the cube amps, the old speedies, uh, they don't like it, they get a bit warm, John. Oh yeah, everything gets warm on FM. Yeah, that FM is just, it's putting out that full power all the time and it makes everything hot. So uh, in the computer program for this radio, I just uh, disabled FM so I don't even accidentally use it. I don't want to take any more chances. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Today I'm on the uh, the three element V quad that uh, that Mako VQ3. It's uh, it's my uh, antenna of choice for uh, talking a long distance. It definitely it's the best one I have. Copy that. You lower that thing down when storms come in, don't you? Yeah, that's right. It's on a, a Clark mast, so you can kind of pump it up and down uh, with like compressed air, so it's really handy and um, also really handy if you want to get it down. Um, it does go pretty high. Um, we had it at maximum and it was a bit, well, it was a bit top heavy. I, I've got a video uh, from a few years ago. I might put it up because it was. Uh, <laughs> Copy that. I'd like to see that. That's an interesting setup. I don't believe I've ever seen anything like that. Yeah, I was on, um, I think I was on, uh, well, on the internet, and there's one on the trailer, and it goes up really high. Um, I don't know, I think it's military, but um, that's going for like about 600 quid, so it's an absolute bargain. Copy that. That's more than I'd want to spend, but uh, yeah, that does sound like a good deal for what you end up getting. Yeah, that's it. And um, well, it's got a motor on it, a compressor, and it's on its own trailer. So you can kind of go out um, anywhere, really, but um, we can't get that. We've got too much crap in the garden, John. <laughs> Copy that. You're going to start using your neighbors, too. Let them, ask them if you can use some of their space. <laughs> Be fantastic, yeah. You guys got a lot of outdoor toys. You really should have a uh, a bigger garden, as you call it. We call it a yard, but yeah, you guys really do need more land for all the stuff you do outside. Yeah, that's it. And um, well, we got the bike going. Uh, the other um, XS60 bike that we were talking about last time. So we got that going. That's on the road. Uh, we, we might go out on it. Copy that. That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that that's uh, up and going again. How did he make out with that uh, that engine that he picked up at the uh, swap meet? Yeah, we haven't done anything with that yet. We seem to pick up the various bits and bobs and, <laughs> and kind of if they get put away. But, um, yeah, we're definitely going to um, get it going, maybe put it in a frame and, um, and a gearbox and, you know, just get it going as it is. So, yeah, we might do that. Copy that. I'm looking forward to that one. I uh, I can't wait to see that one and hear that one running. That's a that's a cool old engine. Yeah, it's definitely a rare one. I think we paid like 250 pounds, which is nothing uh, for like an old um, English engine, you know. So yeah, really. Um, yeah, we've been well been to some boot fairs, but we haven't found any goodies um, so far, John. So what have you been up to? <laughs> Ah, uh, you know how it is, just doing a lot of work and uh, yeah, getting things done, uh, w doing repairs around my own place and working. 
and, uh, and trying to keep up with the lawn. Uh, that's the only bad thing about having a big piece of land. Oh, it always needs my attention. I'm always out there either picking up branches, cutting down trees, cutting grass. You know how it is. It takes up a lot of my time. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, well, you've got enough mowers to, uh, to be mowing anyway, so, yeah, we've got to build a woodshed before, um, before the winter, so um, we can we don't use the, uh, the greenhouse for the woodshed again, because we've got quite a few uh, nice plants in there at the moment, so um, we're going to uh, try and get that done uh, before, um, before it starts turning, you know? Copy that. Well, you heat with uh, burning wood? Is that uh, is a secondary heat system? Copy that. Oh yeah, you can't beat the heat that you get from a wood stove. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it's nice when you walk into a house with a wood stove in the middle of the winter. Oh, you just can't beat that. USK. Copy that. You're doing the same. You're uh, well. You're doing now uh, five to seven over here, but staying at that. It's been staying that way. And we did have a QSK in there. Go ahead, QSK. Uh, thank you for taking my call, my friend. It's uh, two six Charlie Tango five zero five four London UK. Five zero five four. I believe that's what you said. Hey, good afternoon to you. You got a one five one mower junkie over here in South Carolina in two division. Uh, good afternoon, my junkie, or maybe slightly earlier for you. Yeah, uh, you are the first person from the States I have heard in months, so uh, great to hear your voice, my friend. And uh, unit name was Charlie Tango, 5054. Operator name is Gary Golf Alpha Romeo Yankee, over. Copy that, Gary. I got you that time. Yeah, I got you loud and clear. All right, Gary, hey, thanks for the uh, the contact. And uh, 5054, enjoy the DX, and I hope you get a lot of it. Uh, I also have uh, Kate, uh, Needlebender01 in there. I'm not sure if you guys can hear each other or not, but I'll step aside and uh, let you guys try. Yeah, the crazy thing is I've watched Kate's videos and I know roughly where Kate is, um, but I can hear you all the way across the pond and from where I am, just the other side of the water in Essex, I can't hear Kate, unfortunately. Copy that. Well, she did hear your QSK in there, so I thought maybe there was a chance. All right, Gary, hey, thanks for the contact and uh, 73s to you. Thank you, my friend. 73s. Yeah, you know, Gary, I can hear you. Um, you're a Super Radio 5 and a, a Signal 1 uh, down here in Canterbury. So, um, yeah, 7 threes from Charlie Echo 01. Gary, if you're still in there, Kate said hello to you and she wanted to know you're uh, giving her a signal of 1 to 5 over there and she can hear you. Uh, 5054, that was uh, Kate, and she uh, said hello to you. Yeah, Roger that, my friend. Thank you for that. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't hear Kate, um, but uh, I've watched loads of her videos, so uh, we're kind of already there. So thank you very much and happy DXCM73, my friend. Copied all of that. All right. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And uh, hey, have a great day. Uh, 73 is to you. 151. I'll be uh, back over to Kate. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, normally, uh, John, I can't really hear anyone. So, yeah, and she coming in from Essex. That's um, the other side of London. So that's not too bad. Hey, must have a pretty good station over there to uh, to be able to make it all the way to you. Oh, you got it wrong. He said that he watched your videos. He's been watching your videos on YouTube. No, I knew exactly who you was, John. So, um, yeah, I think everyone's excited today because it's, well, it's the best skip um, for months and months. So, yeah, really awesome. 
Copy that. I was uh, just a little uh, beside myself. I didn't know what to do for a second. And my phone rang while I was talking. And I didn't know how to change that and make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you need to answer the phone there, John, I'll, I'll stand by for a sec. Nah, I don't know who it was, but I hung up on him. <laughs> I just swiped the uh, ignore. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, this is a phone call, um, well, a radio call that you can't, um, you can't hang up on, really. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've got brushes outside that have got paint, paint in them, so I'm going to have to disappear in a sec. Copy that. All right, Kate, I'll let you get back to work and uh, get out there and get that job done. Hey, it was awesome to hear you in here today. It's been it's been too long. I'm glad uh, we got some, some good conditions across the pond today. Kate, Neil Bender 01. You got Moa Junkie 151. I'll say 73s to you. Hey, 73s, John, and I'll stick by the frequency. If you want to call me back, I'll be back on this one in a little while. Like seven from Needlebender zero one.